Welcome to SVG TV News on Monday, December 23rd, 2019. I am Investor Boynes with the details. Operation at the RBTT Bank SVG was back to normalcy today after the majority of staff failed to turn up to work on Friday, forcing the bank to close its doors to the public. In a telephone interview, General Secretary of the Commercial, Technical and Allied Workers Union, which is representing the workers Joseph Burns Bonnady, explained that the staff stayed away from the job last Friday after management failed to send a letter to the Ministry of Labour for a conciliatory meeting, bearing in mind that the bank is being sold and issues surrounding its workers need to be ironed out before any further transaction is made. Bonnady said this was never done until Friday, the day staff decided not to show up for work. They should refer the matter to the Department of Labor, as was done in the case of Scotia Bank and First Caribbean International Bank. And they agreed that they would do that. And, of course, I am waiting. They said, okay, yes, 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 we're going to send, we're going to send the letter um, so that we can get things moving. They never sent any letter. I called their office every living single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, asking about this letter so that I can tell the staff, okay, they have finally sent the letter. So, well, I can tell you now they have sent it, and we are going to be meeting in the new year on the 15th of January. Bonnady noted that what is happening with the workers at RPTT RBC Bank is a similar situation to that of Scotia Bank, noting that the workers must be paid all outstanding monies and that the management of RBTT should have known better. To the reduction in the hours of work, which I told them it is the same thing they have to do. There's no way that they can get away from it as long as I'm around here. So the bank is back to normal today. And hopefully they would um, keep that appointment. Mm -hmm. And while all this is happening, they're handing over. So the bank in Antigua is taking place. And we have, as one of the vice presidents of the bank, A. Vincent Chan, who's the vice president of Royal Bank Caribbean Limited. So I'm not saying because he's of invention that some priority should be given, but at least it could be brought to bear what transpired at the other two banks prior to them coming to the table. In a news release on Friday, the parents' company of RBTT, Royal Bank of Canada, described as sudden and unexpected the industrial action taken by the workers on Friday, which it claimed was supported by their union. Bonnady said it is a norm for unions to be blamed, adding that the staff will have to be paid for today. In confusion, let them not pay them. The workers were not on strike. It's not a strike. People say they're a strike. The workers were not on strike. I can tell you that. And they have to be paid. So there's no question about that. Because they were not on strike. They were, the, they were always blaming the union. So well, the union is not new to me. I will always blame the union, but I gave you the, the, the scenario. If you were dealing with an, an, um, an institution, remember I told you, you know, since October, mm -hmm. and then even after October, we did not have a clue that they were selling the bank. Remember we didn't know that? We have an agreement with them, no courtesy, no nothing to say, well, oh, you know, um, we're going to be selling the bank. I know we have an arrangement with you. Nothing. A consortium of Eastern Caribbean Indigenous Banks on December 12th announced it has entered into a definitive agreement to purchase all banking operations in the Eastern Caribbean from Royal Bank of Canada. The sale encompasses seven branches of Royal Bank of Canada, as well as the regional businesses operating on the RBC Financial Caribbean Limited, which includes RBC Royal Bank Holdings Limited SVG and RBTT Bank Caribbean Limited SVG. 
the transaction is said to be subjected to regulatory approval and other customary closing conditions and is expected to be finalized in the coming months. SVG TV News understands that RBTT RBC Bank SVG is expected to be wholly acquired by First National Bank St. Lucia. There is ample supply of beef for this Christmas season, which is good news for butchers and meat shops. About a month ago, a veteran butcher expressed concern that there is a shortage of beef on the market and that there might not be enough to supply local demand for Christmas. However, as we hear in this report from Larissa Pugs the Kid, cattle owners were reportedly waiting for the Christmas season to have a kill and cash in on increased prices for this season. Last month, several local butchers expressed concern that there is a shortage of beef in the country as they were not able to purchase as much cattle as they wish. One of the butchers who lamented about the shortage to SVG TV News was Richard Gibson of Midway Butchers. Today, Gibson says there is ample supply for his customers, noting that he was informed that cattle owners reportedly held back their cattle to be sold closer to Christmas Day. I meant to be realizing that they are getting even more money for pong for, for us than the, the gradations are paying. So those people who are keeping back the meat for the next shipment, they are now selling them off to the local butchers. So it, it has improved a bit because they, re they are getting a, a better price now. So I'm, ver I'm very happy to report that the situation has improved this Christmas. The veteran butcher says though he has paid more this time around for cattle, his prices will remain the same. And I have paid um, 50 cents a pound more than what I will normally pay. But I'm getting the quality. Okay, so you don't mind? I don't, I don't mind. I pass, on, I pass on the 50 cents to the customer. Okay. And I, don't, I don't make a profit on the extra 50 cents that I'm making. Because the concept of my book trade here in St. Louis is different from other people's book trade. Gibson says beef and pork are fast sellers at this time and that he is happy that he is now in a position to meet his customers' demands. Rose, ribbles, sirloin steak, sick and strip loin. They are not asking for stew beef anymore. Previously everything was stew beef, stew beef, stew beef. They are now coming and asking for specialized cuts. So you have the top side, the silver side, the, the ribbles, thick flank, a bone roll back rib, which will lo make a lovely pot roast for Christmas. So they're now realizing they can utilize all the different cuts of the animal to make different joints. So the demand has also created employment opportunity for a number of persons, including this young lady. A lot. He's been really kind and nice to me. And I take our time during this period to help him out because the shop is very busy. So I just come here, help him serve the customers and we make burgers. Okay, great. So yeah. how are you enjoying it? So far so good and I'm looking forward to Christmas because it's my birthday. Several customers of Midway Butchers expressed satisfaction that they had no problems getting their beef and other meat products to indulge in this Christmas. That we have boneless for 850, bone bone for eight and boneless for 850. So we usually go for the boneless because we don't we, we use steak. So what we do is we grill it and we marinate it as usual and we serve it for us and we have a drink as usual, a little vodka, you know, stuff like that. So we have a good time. So that is our Christmas deal tomorrow but for tonight this is what I am here to purchase as I said beef liver pork and tripe Christmas seems to looking all right things shaping up but the beef uh, make sure you gotta get that in the part too right for SVG TV news Larissa Pugsley kid executive director of the Chamber of Industry and Commerce Tony Rogersford said there is a need for a solution to the ongoing parking problem in capital Kingstown Registered was at the time making an address at a recent business luncheon hosted by the Chamber at Sunset Shores. Parking. Parking. Kingstown needs a parking solution. A comprehensive parking solution. And we are going to be engaged, the Chamber, in looking at that very closely with the Traffic Department and Kingstown Town Board. And Mr. Brian Glasgow has introduced us to a supplier 
who provides a smart parking system, which we think is appropriate and can be implemented here. So that's one of the things that we're going to look at over um, 2020. The traffic leading in and out of Kingston has been bumper to bumper in the last few days as persons take advantage of the Christmas shopping deals and other activities in the capital. Station Sergeant Parnell Brown of the traffic branch of the RSVG Police Force is encouraging motorists and pedestrians to exercise caution on the roads. Station Sergeant Brown said there are alternative routes available for persons wishing to beat the traffic as well as as more areas opened up for parking in the capital. There are alternative routes <clears throat> that motorists can use in that we have the route coming through Cane Garden. We have also have the Kingston Hill route coming through Frenches that they can use to come into town. And additionally, there, um, the Ministry of Sports have open up the grammar school playing field for parking for persons who desire us of getting a parking in town so it doesn't have to come straight down in Kingston with all the traffic in order to get a park there's parking available at the grammar school playing field and for the motorists who are on the road for the Christmas season I'm advising you to be very courteous there are lots of kids there are lots of persons returning home to spend the vacation with their friends and families I am advising you to be very 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 courteous you have to exercise caution this time of year there is an increase in alcohol consumption and the police station sergeant is advising persons against drinking and driving you have intention of going out with your families to have a little drink and so on have a designated driver or do not drink do not drink before you go to drive if you want to drink drink at home if you believe to yourself that you cannot contain yourself after you drink have a designated driver to take you to and from your destination the police officer also shared some advice for pedestrians. A few reports where persons are caught walking in the road and vehicle mirrors hit them on different parts of their bodies. So we're advising the pedestrian also to walk alongside the, to the side of the public road. Do not walk too much in the road where you put yourself in harm's way to get struck by a motor vehicle. I say to the pedestrians when I am on the road directing the traffic, no accident for the season. We don't want anyone to be feeling any pain as a result of any accident. Meanwhile, Inspector Curtis Clark, attached to the fire department of the RSVG police force, is advising persons to be vigilant and pay attention while cooking. Sometimes a lot of persons will overuse the stove, meaning that you have all, all type of pots on that stove burn, um, you, you're using and you'll be doing other things in the living room because now it's Christmas, you want to put up the curtains, you want to clean this, you want to clean that and you're going to leave that, that pot unattended. That pot left unattended, the water can dry out and eventually it caught on fire and because of that, your, your stove may be close to an area where there are curtains or maybe there are both structure. That fire, eventually after a while, we try to reach other places and because of that if you, got, if you get to those places eventually you're going to cause fire spread throughout the kitchen so we ask for us to pay attention to what they are doing don't leave anything unsupervised or unmonitored because the moment you do that it you leave an opportunity for fire to start and eventually grow and that can cause damages to your property many of the goodies which are prepared during the season requires cooking oil in some cases, when cooking oil is hot enough, it can combust, and Inspector Clark highlighted how one can put out such a fire. For instance, there's a fire on the, on the stove top where the oil has been caught on fire and come over onto the stove. You don't try to use water to out that fire. There are different means of outing that fire. You can either use a wet towel on it, if you have sand or flour in the kitchen, you can throw that into that pan to create a damping effect. 
which was model that fire. Um, what I want to say in regards to that is, and persons may not have those equipment installed, but also what we can advise persons to do is that it is the best thing to have smoke detectors because you'd never know when a fire gonna when a fire, a fire gonna occur because fire doesn't tell you when they're coming. Fires can also be caused by an overloaded circuit, which can put householders at risk, including children. And Inspector Clark shared some advice with parents in this regard. I, we know of children who are likely to push little um, objects into switches, outlets, outlets. It is a dangerous practice. All children should be supervised. We don't have want to have children going to push, whether it's a nail or a hairpin or some metal into a, a socket outlet because mean, the, the, that child can be electrocuted, one, and second, it can cause a fire. It can cause an arcing in that system and eventually cause a fire. So we want pauses to be on the safe side, practice safety as much as possible. Always have full supervision of your kitchen or any part of your house as a parent or an adult and ensure that all equipment that are used turn off after they've been used. It has been a practice that persons will use a fan or other equipment and leave them on for long hours. If these equipment have been left on for long period, these eventually over a while become hot or over overworked and eventually that can create a problem. The National Nine Morning festivities in communities across SVG will conclude tomorrow morning. This year, over 50 communities on the mainland and in the Grenadines have been hosting Nine Mornings activities under the theme, Christmas is We. The main event is at Heritage Square in capital Kingston, which has been attracting a large turnout for the past eight mornings. Here is a snippet of some of the activities there this morning. Grenadine Island of Beckway has been hosting its nine mornings activities under the famous almond tree. Here is a snippet of some of the performances which include dance, drama, song and poetry. And all that he stands for. The angels are at the thought of you. The darkness gives way to the light for you. Come on! The voice that you heard is a sign. Inmates of Her Majesty's Prison got the opportunity again on Sunday to show off their talent at the annual prisons concert in front of a large crowd. Here is a snippet of some of the performances by the inmates. 
there is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. Left, 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 right, left, right, left. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Take it to them. Man. Ah. Easy, Marcy. Get out of there. Wah, 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 wah. Ah. 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 Everything is double double. Your bill is double double. Jaws are double double. Men are double double. Everything is double double. Hey! hey. Sing it to me, brother. Pull up the volume, Hey, hey, hey! Everything are double double. Hey! Everything are double double. Hey! Everything are double double. 